Fuck is that? That's my shit. That's Hove? Oh, Hove. Yeah, that's Hove. My, yeah, because yo, we were supposed to have him as a guest, but he, you know what I mean? We was too busy. Yo, champ. Yo, I'm filming. Text me. Yeah, I don't get that. What's up, dad? What's going on? Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> Yo, peace. Welcome back to 7 p.m. in Brooklyn. I'm Carmelo Anthony, and here with my co-host. That's right, it's your boy, Kim Merrill, you know what I'm saying? A human do-rag flap in the motherfucking building. This is a Wave Sports and Entertainment original presented by Prize Picks. Number one episode in the books. How we feeling, dog? Ah. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say some shit. I, yeah. I'm going to hold, hold that, though. But <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, like, excited, man, just about the feedback of what we've been getting back. Like, you know, it's hard to launch a first episode with so much engine and, and promo and you you want that first episode to be the one so as long as i got the feedback that i i needed it was, it was most of it was great majority of it was great some yeah. of it was just you know niggas damn boneheads and but it, that's how you <laughs> know you're doing it, it though low key if it's just all positivity and it's listen they, to me i've learned but there's nothing wrong with that though yeah, all yeah. positivity yeah like, yeah nah it's great i, I prefer that but you know, there's always like somebody that's just mad that you're doing it. They're not. They're not actually mad at the show. They don't. They in their head, they probably like, damn, this shit is hitting. But I can't. I can't tell them that because I'm a hater. Yeah, that's not my concern though. <laughs> Fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got eighty other thousand comments being like, yo, this shit is fire. Yeah, that's this not what my the concern. Needed, all that. But yeah, nah. I'm, I, this. Woof. How man. about you? Oh man, I, this is amazing, bro. People keep hitting me up, being like, yo. Yo, what's it like, man? Yo, cause yo, you was in your in your in your old lives in, in you know what I mean in your living room when you dropped 62 and now you're doing a show together. I'm like, bro, this shit is amazing. Thanks to you though, you know what I'm saying? Cause if it was like, you know how they always say never meet your heroes and shit. I wasn't never nervous. <laughs> I agree though. I was never nervous. Yes, you know what yes. I'm saying? Because I knew you was a real one. You know what I'm saying? Just from like the little bits and pieces I, I caught on social media, I was like, oh Mel Melo's real. You know what I mean? Cause I'm like, yo, listen, there's some dry motherfuckers out there. You know what I mean? And this could have been a dry show, but it ain't. <laughs> Shit is wet. <laughs> not like that, not like that, not like that, not like that. Come on, Come on now, <laughs> We, I, I think we did a great job, though. I think we, shout out to the team, like, behind the scenes. Piss, EJ. Everybody, K Wave, K everybody. T, you know what I'm saying? Always got the light on deck for me. Appreciate you, bro. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Why should I keep going up? Only, if, only, only, only if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. But now I think the, the team, like, really put together a good rollout. Shout to y'all, They man. paired the, you know, two good people together when to tell stories, to bring the culture back. That's it. And I think that, for me, people are starting to get a chance to see, like, what everybody who already is close to me knows about. Like, like those are funny things. This ain't, this is every day. This is what I do every day. Anybody that played on my teams, any friends, any niggas know, like, nah, that's his comfort zone. That's him. Right yeah, there. Yeah, right? yeah, That's yeah. his comfort zone, so. You know, shout out to all the supporters. We just getting it going, champ. Yeah, we nah, it going. I'm, I'm, you know what's got me the most hype is that the people are saying like, yo, this is what the streets needed. This is for the streets, this is for the hood. Uh, nothing gets me more hype than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you, you starting from the the core, right? Because like, people coming into this like, oh, what is, ah, uh, shit, what's that? Oh. Oh. Oh, that that combo, that combo. Oh, okay. What's going on? Nah, shit. Is they at Knicks games? They this. They eighteen. They, 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 like they just. This is too good to be true. So when it happens and they see the the process of the actual rollout, then it makes sense. You're welcome. Right? So we we set the tone on a lot a lot of things. So thank you. Hey. Part on the left. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna get this shit situated part, before the season ends off. I promise left, you. Part on the left. Because the bone extended thing that didn't that didn't work. That was we, one. We're not, we not doing. We're not going we're there. Not doing so, it. <laughs> we're taking a brief break from today's episode to let you know that Prospects got you covered when it comes to helping you make some bread. That's right. With the NFL players right around the corner and the NBA season happening right now, Prospects is helping us cash in. Prospects is a daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, mm. and turn $25 into $250. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's a quick flip. We need that. The best part about it, Prospects is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. We got to get on Prospects, yeah. 25 for 250 <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, what kind of flip is that? I need that. 
So if that's a that's a hundred, that's flip. That's twenty hundred, right? <laughs> Prize Picks allows you to pick combo projections across football and basketball with specials. So you can support all your teams while still cashing in. Be sure to visit prizepicks.com slash 7 p.m. and use promo code 7 p.m. for a deposit match up to $100. Now, back to the shop. Episode one, we broke down the segments for y'all. But before we get into Three to the Dome, I know you've seen my son Shohei. Mm. They backed up the bridge truck for that man. They said, yo, his 700 M's, bro. I never even, when the Mahomes got the 500, I was like, God damn. Now they say, yo. His 500, his 700 guaranteed. Yeah. So, for like, sure. guaranteed. That's the craziest shit to be about baseball money, bro. If he's, if he fall, if he, if he's out golfing and he falls into a lake and like break his ankle or some shit, he's still getting all that money. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? It, got, it has to be something like very like fine lined of what you can't do, you know, in, in, in the contract. Have you ever seen some shit like that in your contracts? Cause like baseball no, players I get never, hurt. I never got 700. What? <laughs> they nah, was, he got eighteen hundred. They was boom. They was they was bitching with me for getting twenty million. <laughs> That's so ill to me because it's like baseball. Like if you're talking about in terms of like popularity, the NBA to me has got to be way more popular than, than yeah, baseball. Yeah, but it's, it's it's not that. I don't mean to cut you off. Yeah, but it's, it's sorry. It's, it's it's not that. We got to look at the dynamics of that deal of a deal like that, right? The Dodgers, just use the Dodgers, right? They are what I think four, top four in, yeah. in, in MLB, right? And just operations and just attendance and just like they the top four. Mm-hmm. I think it's Yankees, Mets, uh, Dodgers, and Phillies or something, yeah, something like be. that. Maybe something yeah, like the that. Big, the big, the big markets. Yeah, so it, it, they are top four with that. The Dodgers operations is is backbone is built off of. Cable money. Oh, that's true. So the 700 really don't do nothing. They don't like, even hurt them. Right. So this is cable wars. This is streaming wars. This is all of that that's actually going into, coming into play. And now we seeing when it actually does work, somebody who's actually worth, he's worth it. Oh, yeah. Because you, you, you think about it, you're getting a he's dude that could give you 60 home runs a year. Hold up. And pitch 20 Fuck games. <clears throat> I say you getting, you getting the top two superstars <laughs> for in <one>. MLB <laughs> at one time. You're getting the top pitcher and you're getting the top hitter. So low key, it's just 350 M. So you're getting, go. yeah, you, the, the, hitter, the hitter got 350. <laughs> the pitcher got 350. The pitcher got 350, you know what I'm saying? So you get yeah. two for one. I ain't mad at it. Shout out to Show How, man. Yo, do your thing, Yo, my man, G. man, wine dinners is on you, champ. Yeah, no, that's a that's fact, a, bro. That's, that's wine your all-star. Dinners. Listen, <laughs> we, we, let's talk, Show How. <laughs> <laughs> yo, word. Let's invest in some things, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. So, like, yo, I always ask this question, like, when I would do interviews and shit like that. 700 M's seems like such a, a ridiculous amount of money. If you had that, they give it to you right now. Melo, here's 700 M's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what trying we doing to get 700. This? What are we doing with this? <laughs> ah, I'm, I'm, today? Today, mellow today, because I know Mero today is yeah, doing something today, very different I'm, than today, Mello today. Yeah, I'm, I'm really like, I'm buying businesses, right? I'm, I'm, I'm changing, you know, infrastructure. I'm investing back. I'm investing in the school. I'm investing in, like, I am like doing the right shit thing. that you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because at that point, even in my position with money, like, you still want to go, you still need that money to go oh, yeah. make the real impact that you really want to make, right? So with that, I'm going to schools, I'm going to prisons, I'm going to, you know what I mean? Everything. Like everything, cannabis, I'm going to everything. I'm going to, I'm just real estate, you know what I'm saying? Like residual income, things that, that brings in residual they income. They sound like my pops. He's but like, I'm just talking about now, you know what I mean? I had 700 yeah. back. <laughs> I would, I would have bought the whole Baltimore City out of it. <laughs> you say, yo, give me all yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah, but I, West was, Side, East yeah, Side? Yeah, West Side, it just been, you know. Give me all the Old Bay. You yeah, got, give got. me everything. <laughs> give me everything. I might go buy Old Bay with that. Like, it's, <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm like, the new owner of the fudgery, y'all. That's you what, know what I'm saying, saying? man. It's, you, that's, that's a different 
mindset yeah. you know that that you have to have. Damn, bro. And that goes to that just goes to show you've been doing this shit for a long time and you've been on the philanthropy game cuz like my immediate answer was like, yo, I'm buying my mom's another crib. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> I, I, I did crib. that, you But know. you could do that and still have 600 M's left over. Buy the block. <laughs> <laughs> like buy the block. You get 700 M's. What you doing with that? Whew. What's the Damn. first thing you're going to get? First thing I'm going to get, I ain't even going to lie to you. I'm going to get a car. Because I'm still at the stage where my responsibility meter is high. So I don't get myself that stupid spaceship whip that I've been wanting for the longest time. And I could get it. I could go get it right now. I could leave this set right now and go cop one. But the responsible dad, husband, whatever the fuck is like, nah, chill, bro. You don't need that right now. You know what I mean? But, bro, I'm copping a fleet <laughs> of fucking E63 AMGs off all turbocking shit with the badges all crazy, matte mm. black. I need a garage, B. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I like cars. You know what I'm saying? Like that and like, you know what I'm saying? Some wristwear, little little watch. I think I, I think I gotta get into the watch game. I'm 40 now. Yo, bro, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We talk about 700 M's. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You talk about a little watch. Yeah, but I'm talking about like. Go buy the watch company. But, and so see, that's where you at. That's what you, because you've been doing this for so so long. Then it's just like where you, where you going at? Where you going to cop the watch at? I was I, I ain't gonna say turn over me that made that while basically I gotta fuck with you. That's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. That's I get seven hours. Yo, Melo, what the fuck I'm supposed to do with the seven hundred hours, bro? Right. Like we gonna we gonna we gonna make it we out. gonna make it work. Let's let's get this vineyard popping in DR. Let's go. <laughs> There's a lot of shit we could do with get that. The Chilean Malbec popping. But what was if it's one thing? One thing. Give me one, one thing. One thing. I probably would just to me. I would like. I got four kids. I probably would want to set them up. Like, yo, here's a, here's a here's a plot of land. Maybe not a crib, but like here's a plot of land for you. You know what I'm saying? Here's some property. Cause yo, the one thing my pops always would say, like investment wise and shit like that, he's like, yo, they ain't making no more earth. Bro. Hell no. Is <laughs> is the one we on, and that's it. So if you could own a piece of that, and just and just rock with it, you can earn, you, you you can own a lot with seven hundred million. You feel me? <laughs> like I'm I'm being one of the motherfuckers. Yo, he bought that island. That's a fact. Off the coast of whatever the fuck, like that whole island is his, like type shit. Yeah, nah, hell yeah, land, property. You know what I'm saying? Like owning my shit. I love that. Can't nobody tell me nothing. I'm smoking weed with my no shirt on. Off your land. On my land. You know Off your saying? land. Off my growing the shit. Off Facts. your land. Off my shit. You know what I mean? Got a grow house out there. You know what I mean? Investing. That's what it was. Cause before you said your shit, in my mind it was like, what am I gonna spend it on? But it's like, you know, you gotta get mentally correct. If you had to spend the 700. It would be an investment. It wouldn't be like a spend it. If they like, yo, we give you 700 right you gotta now. You gotta blow it. You gotta spend it. Oh, I'm buying Lambos, bro. I'm buying planes. I'm paying, I'm playing Messi to coach my kid in soccer. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm doing all that. Once the 700 is gone. Then, it's all you messy. have is I'm sending Messi back to my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending man Messi back to my That's head. That's what I'm saying. You got you like Martin when he he thought he won the. <laughs> he thought he was doing it. Yo, yeah, nah. You gotta re scare money don't make money. You gotta reinvest that shit. You know what I mean? Make it work for you. That's the thing for me. Is like, I I just started doing like the whole investment shit. So I got money in a portfolio, and it's just like, bro, if you put X amount of M's. And you getting five percent on that seven hundred million, you ain't got to do shit for the rest of your life, bro. You just chilling. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm trying to, I'm forty now. I'm trying to get like that when I'm fifty. You gonna make a hundred a year just off of just the interest. Interest. You know what I mean? So it's like fifty to hundred just off interest a year. Come on. So it's like that's a duh. You know what I mean? Like and, and that's the crazy shit because they don't teach you that shit in school, b. You that's know why what we're mean? here. That's why we got to be the gatekeepers. Hello, Professor Mello, Professor Mero in the building. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Teach you how to spend financially, wisely. 22-year-old Meryl's like, yo, how much weed can I buy with 700 M? <laughs> 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 can I buy the whole Humboldt County? Like, and just grow all my shit myself there and just be the weed master? Like, that's what I'm, 22 year old Meryl? Because <laughs> weed wasn't even close to being legal when I was 22. It was like, Giuliani was still, you know what I mean? Like, yo, you going to jail forever. You know what I mean? Like, goddamn. So... Yeah, I'll go to Cali and start shit. Get it shaking, bro. I wouldn't even be me right now. I'll have locks. You know, I would look, like when Wyclef was starting to bald a little bit, but he still had the locks, that'd be me. The baldy with the locks when it's around. Looking crazy. <laughs> Miller, like, I can't do a show with this nigga, man. He bald with locks. It's crazy. Nah, <laughs> next host. <laughs> I'm cool on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm I buying all the people. You. I know the struggle. The I know what we've been through. I'm buying everything. I see what 700 M's really, really did to the city. You understand? So 
I'm buying all of that. And a dollar will go a longer way in Baltimore than in New York. I, I know that for a fact. Because every time seven, I've been down there, I if go you crazy. Just, if, you just, if they just know you have 700 if you worth 700 that's really five billion. <laughs> six, yo, yo. Like you, you, you go do whatever the fuck you, you want to do. Bezos, you Bezos at that point. <laughs> Shit, I ain't putting no money down. Fuck, I need seven hundred M's. You got that? Yeah, you. Oh, oh, this is what's over there. Okay, now nah, you don't sign anything. No money down. <laughs> no. Yeah, you good. All right, listen. Show hey guys bag. You know what I mean. But it's time for three to the dome. A celebration that you officially retired. Episode one. You know what I mean. It's, it's gone. You know what I mean. But it still lives on in our hearts. This is three critical storylines that's happening for all y'all hoop heads in the audience. You know what I'm saying? I'm interested in knowing what these are. Mm -hmm. First up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I remember- Hold on, hold on. That, do that again. That's <laughs> First up. I did it because now you got me doing it like she. I don't do it three times. I just do it one time and get myself a concussion. Barmelo, like, Barmelo, bar yeah. <laughs> Zim Yo, at one point, you know what I mean? It was like, yo, super team. And everybody says it was Bron that started it. I happen to believe, or my personal opinion, it was KG, Pierce, and, and Ray Allen in Boston. To me, that was the original super, super team. But it used to be three guys. You know what I'm saying? And now it's starting to seem like it's more like duo, like duo orientated. Where it's like, you know, you got Jokic and Jamal Murray. You know what I mean? You got you got KD and Book, you got Julius and Brunson, superstars. You know what I'm saying? PG and Kawhi. You know what I'm saying? And it's like before it felt like you needed three dudes. Now it feels like you need two and like a solid supporting cast. So like if I'm the GM, I don't even know how I'm doing this now. Like you <laughs> you done did it. You know what I'm saying? Like you've been in it. You've been yeah. trade talks involved in roster movement, you you was the guy with the white hat, so you had a say in who's coming in and who's going. How how are you I didn't have you? a say who was going, but I feel what you're saying. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. So how would you like construct the team? Is that is that first of all, is that era over of like the super three guys? Team? The super team era. Is that shit a rap or I think you, I mean you, you said a lot, which is which is interesting. Like super teams to me like USA was a super team, mm. right? Like that, that, that's a, you know, that those are super teams. That was, that's crazy. Dude. That's like, the yeah, Avengers. like 04 Lakers was a super team, right? Even though it didn't pan out, but right. they was a, a super team. On paper. On paper. Shaq, Cole, Gary Payton, Carl Malone. Like they were like, that's yeah. a super team. Boston was a super team. It wasn't no big three. Like, they were a super team. Paul Pierce, KG, Ray Allen, Rondo. Rondo. Anything more than two or three is a super team. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Miami didn't have a super team. They had a they had a big three and, and a great team. Yeah. They was a great team. They had a big three. So super teams for me is very hard to talk about like super teams because today is no super teams. Right. The super teams, it only is one super team in the NBA, and that's the Clippers. Oh, yeah. Because of what they have. Because they got a bunch of dudes that was on the top. Of Bro, all you got time. four of the best players of all time in NBA history on one team. So, yes, you are a super team. There's no duos. There's no PG, Kawhi, Russ and James, or Russ and PG. No, it's a. It's four we all them. together. They got two duos on one team. We all got to figure it. We got to figure this shit out. So, it's no. That's the only super team that I think. Now, there's great teams. Right? right? Denver is a great team, right? That's a great team. And then you have good teams, and then you have solid teams, and then you just have the teams that's like teetering, whether they're going to be, they want to take that next step to win and go get a couple players, or they just going to play the Let's bottom half. Here. They just going to chill, see how this shit roll over, see how this Strong thing, draft next wait till some guys retire, <laughs> just figure this shit out. So those are those are really like the phases of of super team. I don't think there's only one super team. There's great teams though, right. and there's great duos, but there's only one super team. That's ill because like for me, like from the fan perspective, I always looked at it like to me like when you say like a a, a good team, it takes me back to the the Ben Wallace Pistons. They were great. You know what I'm saying? That's like a great team. Yes. Because like everybody on that team. Like I think they all made the All Star game. That they were great. They were they like, like four or five made All Star. Right. Yeah, they were they were great. 
But if you pull that each individual and you put him on a different team, he might not be the guy on that on each individual team. But he but would together, play a role. To them, it, to, nobody clearly stood out as like the guy on that team. You know what I'm saying? Like Ben Wallace was like the face of the team, defensive stopper, this, that. But it's like, you know, Tayshawn could have got the rock at the end of the game. Rip could have got the rock at the end of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like there wasn't one like, like for example, Knicks and Nuggets with you, it was like you getting a rock at the end of the game. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like there's nobody else. We know what, what's happening here. With Dame and, and Portland, same shit. Like, yo, you getting a rock at the end of the game, bro. Like, game is on the line, you getting it. Mm-hmm. So when you say team, I think more about g- g- that type of team. Think of Denver. Okay. Denver's a great team, right? Denver has a superstar, right? They have presence in the paint, right? They have a coach with good philosophy, right? They have great role players. They have toughness, interchangeable versatility on the wings, right? And they have depth. They have a bench. That makes, those are all the makeups of a great yeah. team, right? You need a bench because you start having back to backs in three games or four nights and five games and seven nights. It's like you, you need somebody off the, off the bench to, to get Yo, that. go drink a Gatorade. That's why up. every team, I always wanted a wild card. Like a J.R. Smith. Like, and not a wild card in a positive way. Like, yeah. he, was, he was my wild card. Because I knew at any given moment, Jay, I need you to go. I need 25 from you tonight in order for us to win. Yeah. They keying on me. They keying on I need you. If you get 20, you get 20 plus, we win the game tonight. So you need those Jamal Crawfords, yes. You know the Lou, Lou Wills, Wills, like the the Monte Ellises of the of the world. You need those guys because those are ones who, when you come out, they carry they carry in that toy. Yeah, and they also you can also implement them right next to you if you right. if you really want it. So and, and it's a second unit thing too. I feel like when you got a guy like Lou Will, Jamal Crawford, Monte. They energize that bench unit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's like they, they was different though because they 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 accepted their role. Like, yo, we are, this is what we coming here to do. Yeah. We ain't doing nothing else. That's it. We coming here to put the ball in the hole. That's it. Like that's. I'm trying to win six man of the year every year. And you need that. Yeah. If I'm going to be in this position, like if this is my role, why not, why not be the best at, yeah. at that? So would you rather have your superstar be a guard or a big? You know mm. what I'm saying? And does that matter? I'd rather my superstar be a guard. Because the guard is controlling Everything. Tempo, all that shit. Every single thing. Like, I don't have to I don't have to go to you as a big for you to be like a superstar. Right. Like you have to be dominant. You just have to be unbelievable, dominant. When I give it to you, you're gonna score, you're gonna get fouled, you're gonna dunk everything, you're gonna block everything, you're gonna talk shit, you gonna like fuck everybody. Yeah. Right? Be sweating in the second quarter, like, yo, like I if, just if, do something. Yeah, like <laughs> if Draymond Green was like six ten, like that type of dude. I need that type of energy on my team. That's why I mean Kenya Martin was always so close. Yo. Because of that. And it's ill because I feel like that like archetype of player is like you barely see them. Besides, I mean, besides like Draymond, right? But you got dudes trying to do it, like Dylan Brooks. You and can't shit, do it like, today. And that's what I'm saying. Like you can't, you can't, you can't really you do can't it. You can't do it today. You, you can't. can't. Yeah, them guys would have be, look at Draymond. They are, they, they like, they ready. You know what I'm saying? But he's smart. Like, he, you know, he's smart, but he's not going to change, and I don't think he should change. Yeah. It is what it is, man. This is what I do. This is how I win championships. You know, I can be a little bit smarter here and there, but, hey, that's... It's the heat of the moment, though, This is what I do. You can't tell me how to compete. (laughs) (laughs) Yo. Like you said, that shit, I just remember you snuffing Marty Collins, bro. (laughs) That was so ill. I was like, I wish that was a problem. You can't bet. tell yeah. me how to compete. Yeah, that's what I said. I think he's trying to tell you how to play the game. <laughs> yo, that was so ill yeah. I said, you yo, that, and by the way, that's the only reason I remember Marty Collins' name. It's like, yo, he got Melo snuffed him in the garden. Yeah. He was a good player, though, man. He was, he was. He, was, he, was, just, he, just got, he just got thrown into, like, some fire. <laughs> into and some I, deep and water. I, yeah, and I don't think he understood the dynamics of, like, what you was being thrown into, and it Yo. had nothing to do with you. Like it had nothing to do with you. It was this was way above your pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> Fam, I don't even know who you are, really. Like this you know kite what I'm was sent. They sent the kite. 
<laughs> go. This was Get sent it. for the top. You know what I mean? <laughs> bro, I seen that live. And I was like, yo, Melo's going to be a Nick. I said that shit mad ahead of schedule, bro. I was like, yeah, Melo got that Nick energy, bro. I fucked with that. The difference between a great team and a superstar team. Like, a superstar team is like, it's more pressure on a superstar team than it is a great team. Right. Right. Great teams, you going to figure out ways to win. You you know how to be great. You know how to, you know, everybody's in play. Your roles are, are, are you know, there's only one or two superstars. Like, those are yeah. great teams. You got great role players. You got good culture, good environment. Those are great teams, right? Dallas Mavericks was a great team that year when they won it. Yeah. I think 11 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, bro. J.J. Right? Barea got suplex. So when they won that, they was a great team, right? They wasn't a super team. They was a great team. Uh-huh. Very similar to Denver today in, in a sense. Yeah. So when I talk about super teams now, super teams are we have no room for fucking up. We have no room for... Anything, nothing, negativity, anything, people mad, people this, people energy, fuck that. We ain't got time for that. There's no room for a mistake when you have a super team. Right. There's none. Because on paper, everybody's already looking at it like, oh, y'all going to roll through Yeah, that, the- but you have to really believe on a super team. Like On a great team, you believe, but it's like, I'm a, I believe in my role. Yeah. Over here on a super team, you believe in your... Your superpowers <laughs> to do something on this on a super team to help us win, but that's why great teams always be super teams because it comes a point where super teams you have to really want to do it. Mm. You got to really want that shit. Like yeah. people say, I want to team up, and then the niggas don't be wanting to team up. They do it because it looks good, but nah, that shit hard to team up. It's hard, man. It's hard. It's hard for a duo, for one, for one and two. But then, now you're talking about big three, one, two, three. Now you're talking about three, four of those guys that. Which one of y'all going to adjust the game? Yeah. Which one of y'all are willing to adjust the game, your game? And then you talk about bringing a fourth. Now it's like, God damn. Yo, like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> right? So as a player, that's why. The super teams with Clippers is not, I don't think it's T. Lou fault. Like, it's not Tyrone Lou fault. Like, they, well, and they got to win a record now, but you know what I mean? But it's not, it t- that shit takes time, bro. And because of that, with the super teams, you got to be willing to be like, all right, I got to swallow this pride. I got to, like, I'm, you know what? I'm willing to do what I have to do. Like, right. coach, what you need me to do? Not even coach, yo, yo, PG, Kawhi. What y'all need me to do? Yeah. Right? So they forced Russ, in, Russ into that role. They forced him to say, all right, boom, boom, boom. But Russ also not that learned, guy. though. He learned because I was in that situation with him. Yo, you know what? I'm going, yo, Russ, what you need me to do? It's your shit. Like, and that's another thing. All those dudes... Was were was the guy the white hat that we mentioned in episode one? They was the guy yeah. on their team. So, and I know you, every team you've been on, you've been the guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, who who's going to who? Or is it like you say? Like is is it? Are they fig- are they still figuring that out? Yeah, but you got to like each other. Like you have to really fuck with each other to like for that shit to work. You got to really you have to like each other, man. Like you have to get along with each other because it's easy for hatred and negativity and jealousy and envy to come in. Right, because it's like I'm the guy too. Yeah. Why he or why he and why he is like how you putting up thirty a night and I'm yeah. So you start questioning up. every single thing, right? So before that creeps in, you got to be solid with yourself and that peace. Like you know what, this is what I'm going to bring. Here's what he got to bring, but I'm acknowledging what I got to bring. Yeah. So I'm gonna alleviate any any issues, any doubt that you think that I have for being in part of this super team. And there you go. Like, again, it comes down to the talent is a talent. The skill is a skill. They all great. They all, I'm speaking on Clippers in particular. Like, they all great. They all know what they doing. They all know how to win. You just got to be willing to say, tonight ain't my night. Right. 
I'm cool with getting 12, 50, you know what I mean? Like, I'm cool with that. I'll spot up and shoot. And I think they are cool with that. It's just the outside world won't accept that. Right. They say that, though, yeah, he should he should adapt. He should adjust. He should, oh, he should just try to shoot this man or score this. You you say that until you start looking at the parlay. Be like, yo, this nigga's trash. Why he yeah, like that's so that's the fine line, right? That's the yo, fine man. line. <laughs> yo, oh, now you want to get ten on it, right? So that's a fine line, right, for us and y'all as a fan. Yeah. Like, you want me to to make this work. You want me to make this work, but right? you also want me to have. But over you also, 25 points. if I have, if I'm supposed to be getting twenty twenty two, and I tonight or this week I just average fifteen. You killing me as a fan. That's crazy. So it's a it's really a lose lose situation. <laughs> so why even think about that bullshit? Yeah. Just go, yo. This is what I'm gonna do. As long as it's working for us, fuck what everybody else say. Right. Right. So my like super teams. That's, that's the only super team I think. It's a lot of great duos. A lot of great teams in this in the NBA. Like the Knicks need a the Knicks need a a, a superstar. A guy. No, yeah. they need a superstar. That's what I'm saying. Like they have a, stars. A guy, like trademark. You know what I'm saying? They like need, a, like a, a Melo, a Bron, a KD, a dude, like a generational dude. Yes. Who, and listen, bro, not, this is, yo, wild pause, not to glaze at all, but I, I would watch Nick games religiously be and be in my living room and fucking shout out to Pringles, Mike D'Antoni. You know what I'm saying? He, I knew for a fact when he had that little board out, bro. I'm like, bro, he's drawing up a play for Melo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, this play's go, this, the Melo's getting a rock at, at this juncture in the yeah. game. It's 10 seconds left. We know where this shit is going. When you don't have a guy like that, you know what I'm saying? What do you do? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like. Give it to the dude with the high hand. Like, I don't, I mean, you just gotta, you gotta adapt to what you have. You gotta adjust to what, what's, what you have on that, on that team and that Ross. I, for me, me with that team, with the Knicks, it would, it like, that would have been a special team, and that would have been a special team because I know, based off what I said previously on the makeup of a team, right? You have presence in the paint. Chandler. I'm talking about today. Oh, today. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have presence in the paint. You have the best shot block in the game, right? arguably, right now. You have a force in Julius. Right, he's a he's a force. You 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 just gotta you just gotta he, you know he gotta learn how to when to go when not to go angles yeah. boom boom you know what I mean like he be showing me shit sometimes my lord I'm like yo I started calling this motherfucker lefty LeBron because he be doing shit sometimes and I'm yeah. just like he got that power game yeah so for me you know like I mean? would if you put him as the the next guy like next to the guy it's, it could be special yeah right but when you have to the pressures of trying to do that. Every night, day in and day out, day in and day out, it's very hard if you're not willing to be disciplined enough to to take on that. Not to say that he's not. I don't, you know, not to say that he's not. Yeah, but but nice. you have to have the pressures of you have to want that shit because they have a really good team. And that's the shit. They Bro, just that's... they need that. They need that 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 it's white like, hat. <laughs> yeah, the white hat. Bro, they it's need like the white the hat. Fun, yo, I, like, listen. To, to take it to football a little bit, it's like the Jets, B. Like, and I'm, not, I'm not even a Jets fan, but the defense is crazy. The offense is all there. All you need is that quarterback. You had it. He just got hurt. It was He's unfortunate. Got, it was unfortunate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, We was going to see something special with that. that. And that's what I'm saying. Like, all the, that was the missing piece. It was yeah. like, yo, that quarterback and we off. So I was like, same thing with the Knicks. They get a guy like you. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No, no, no. I mean, like, listen. It ain't no more like me. I ended with it not today. Just so y'all <laughs> putting it out there, you know what I'm saying? He's available. I'm not available at all. <laughs> Only just not on Thursdays. <laughs> at 7 p.m. <laughs> but nah, it's like, yo, if they had it, like you said, like if somebody stepped into that role, yeah. Bro, that's beautiful. Yeah. You know I what agree, saying? man. It's I agree. You set to you set so up. So let me ask you this. Who who do you like? So you said super team. It's only one. I said it's only one super team. You you like duos? Yeah. Say duo. Who would you want to see team up today? Like what duo today? Today. Make it make sense though. Not just as a fan. Like make it right, make right, sense. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And also as a fan, like who would you want to see? Yeah, nah, definitely. I like, I like, and this is low key kind of realistic. I like Donovan Mitchell and Julius Randle as like a duo. Where? On the Knicks. 
You know what I'm saying? No. With the roster as currently no. composed, no. The only thing that makes me worry is is the size no. shit. No. If 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 Spider was six foot six, six no. seven, six eight, no brainer. But realistically, I'm like, yo, and this is another thing. Is like, love Mitch, one of the top centers and like shot blockers defensively, beast. But I'm like, bro, like if he add like one or two things to his bag, little hook shot. You know what I mean? That little, that little Charles Oakley bunny. But do he, I'm, I don't know. I don't know Mitch at all. Do he want to learn that? Because if you want to learn that, it's easy to learn. Right. Do you want to learn going in there, getting the jump hook and posting two dribbles, just getting them, you know, I know he being wants able touches. to get a bucket. You want touches, but are you willing to put in the work to get to those get touches? Right. And that's the thing. So right? I, don't, I don't know him like that. And you say you know. So, I don't. I'm just going on what you just yeah, said. Yeah, nah, So and that's the thing. To so me, it's like, yeah, you gotta you gotta want to put the work in. But you know, with social media nowadays, like a player could go on Instagram or on Twitter and be like, "Yo, this is how I feel about the game today." And he said he's been publicly. He's, he said like, "Yo, like <laughs> he want hey, more touches. I want more touches, <laughs> me. Like I'm play, I'm, I'm out here play. I'm out here getting cardio, nigga. Like y'all got me running suicide, nigga. Give me the ball. <laughs> but, but, but I agree. You know I, I, mean? I agree. To, and I, I agree with him too. I'm just like, bro, I feel yeah, you, dog. I like, agree that if I'm doing all of this, I'm leading the league in shot block. I'm, I'm rebounding. That mean I'm giving. Me I'm old. giving effort, right? Throw me a lob. Let me get a post up. But if I throw you the ball at the post. I need you to go get something. You got to get it. You got to get it. Yeah, you you can't shoot the hot potato and nah, shit right like now. You got to go get it. You <laughs> yeah. got to go get it. So I agree with him, though. Don't You You have to. I'm working this hard. Throw it in there. Fam. I but that's I, communication. Yes. Right? I, I, had that, that. I had that situation in Denver. Did I have it in New York? Maybe. Probably. It was so many fucking players. You was, you there was so many dude. fucking players in New York. You talk like if yeah. like fam. But Denver, I had MC, Marcus mm. Camby. Yeah. Right? Legend. Legend. One of my favorites. Defensive player of the year. Beast. Lead the league in shot blocking, rebounding, but was very aware of, yo, I'm I'm going to get the record this year. I'm going I'm, I'm, I need to be on top. Of the record yeah. shot block, I need to lead the league in, in rebounds. Like he was very aware of that, so he put so much effort into doing that and being great at that and winning those accolades and awards that he would be like, "Yo, I ain't gonna keep running up and down the court like that." I'm like, "Yo, nah, I feel you." Like, "Nah, nah, hey, champ." Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yo, yeah. Go get that. Yo, shoot that shit. <laughs> Oh, the fuck, where you at? Pull shoot it, nigga, pull shoot it. that <laughs> shit. Right? Because yeah. if you shoot it, you keeping them honest. Yeah. And if you make it, oh, uh, uh, you about to go down there and get me two more blocks. <laughs> and you know I'm coming right back to you. Yeah. You hype. Yeah. Now we come down, we get the spin lob on the post. Now it's like, oh, now I'm a part of the actual game. The offense. Is I don't got to complain about that yeah. shit no more. So, you know, I, I think that's what uh, Mitch is dealing with, with the Knicks. And that's crazy because he's like he he's in that he's got emojis now. So he's putting the, the dude, the track runner, with the emojis. He's like, y'all got me out here doing cardio. Word, like, yeah, bro. I didn't put, see all of that. He put that out, and I was just like, that's a Nick, that Knicks fan shit. You be on it. I'll be on it, and it's crazy because I'm just like, as you know what I mean. Like I said, like as a, as an elder gentleman, you know what I'm saying. Like I'm like, damn, I feel him though, because I you know you forget like you watching hoop, and it's like, bro, this motherfucker's 20 years old. But you, know you also saying? came up came up under like. The like big man era in the sense like, you know, throwing the ball in post. That's you know, it. You you came up in dominant big man era. Yeah, like, just big man in the post goes like this. Give yeah. me the rock. You only throwing it to three big men in the league today to go get your fucking uh, four. Yo, who Jokic and B. A D. A D. And that's crazy because AD and, to and, me is like a he's uh, Sabon like a, Sabonis. It's Sabonis. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He learned from his pops. Yeah, yeah. Those are the four like big men that you throw. Like the traditional ball. big men. Yeah, yeah, man. It's crazy, bro. Cause like back in the nineties, it was like, bro, everybody had one of those guys. Yeah. The, the fucking Rick Smiths, bro. Like you just had a big ass like white dude, Jim McElvain. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? George Micah with the George <laughs> Micah with the little glasses, nigga, doing the lamb drill. You know what I'm saying? But yo, but speaking of like super teams, great teams, like players coming together, was that ever at any point? Because you know, you, you, Bron, Wade, like that whole draft class, 
the banana, the banana boat crew. Was there ever any? I wasn't on the boat. Right, because because so. you don't do that. <laughs> right, right. You like nigga, I ain't trying to drown out here with y'all. I wasn't I'm on the on boat. I'm on a shore drinking a mai tai. Yeah, this looks crazy. Salute, yeah. Nah, I'm with you. I'm the, I'm the same dude. I'm like, yo, y'all have fun. I'll take pictures. You know what I'm saying? Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, y'all have a run right in the banana Pulls, Could it be me? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, go ahead, guys. What you yeah. Did y'all? I know y'all had to sit around, have a glass of wine and shit, and be like, yo, hold on. What if we all go to X city? Or yeah. was it like that? Or was it, cause it, nah, or just, is it not that simple? Because the contract It's not that thing, simple, but thing. as as competitors and as basketball players, they just, just athletes. Like you always like, damn, what if I, what if we was on the same team? Or what if we was on the same, like you always think about that. And then when you get together, it's conversation. Yo, what do you like to play? What's your favorite city? Like, oh shit, I ain't fuck with that city. It's just like, you start learning all of these nuances of like the actual athlete yeah. and who you talking about. And then it goes to, man, Man, we should. I would love to play on your. I would love to play with you, man. Let's let's be on the same team. Let's figure this out. It goes to that. And then if you you know some people take it serious and some people just like ah, right, whatever, right? But it's very hard for stars to like formulate that. Like a lot of shit got to go down. Yeah. In yeah, order for that to happen. That's the part. Not to go draw, but that's the part that I, as a fan, don't understand. In season tournament, like what you think? Do you think it was a success for one? Oh yeah, nah, for sure. I think it's a success because it like, you know, not that the NBA season gets boring because there's always like storylines and, and things happening like that, but like a a tournament vibe mm. in the middle of the season, I think it's a good look. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, yo, unless you gamble, you know what I mean? Like if you're watching like a Wednesday night, you know what I mean? Like Knicks, Timberwolves, you know what I mean? If you're not like a hoop head, that, you know what I mean, matchup might not excite you. You know what I'm saying? But if it's like the in-season tournament, it don't matter who's playing. You're playing for something, right? You're playing for the Gary O'Brien. <laughs> for the Gary, not the Larry, the Gary. <laughs> the Gary. You're playing for the Gary, for you know what I'm Gary, saying? So, for the Gary. And I have a, and I have a, have a ticket, too. So it's like, you know what I mean? So it's, it's more motivation to go get it. And you could tell because the dudes, they really be fucking, they they playing, playing. Like like it's the playoffs. Be like Eastern Conference Finals, Western Conference Finals type energy. And that's ill to have, like, in the middle of the season. You know what I mean? Because it's like, to me, I don't get bored. You know what I mean? I enjoy the whole season. But it's cool, like, a little shake-up in the middle of the season and you go to All-Star and shit like that. It's more, like, uh, it's more stuff going on. You know what I mean? Moments. Yeah, more exactly. More moments and stuff like that. that shit like that happens where you get, like, a, you know what I'm saying, Devin Booker hitting a buzzer beater. No, not y'all eliminated. That college type of yeah. atmosphere, the winner go home. Crazy. That that to, to me is like <clears throat> it's successful. Like it's already successful. Like yeah. Adam Silver, the minute that you said we was doing this, it's success. Right? The bubble was a success. Yeah. Like that was a that was the most craziest success story. <clears throat> to pull that off at that moment in time. That just go to show you like the impact that the NBA, that that logo. Man. Really has right. They did a hell of a job with him. I got to take my hat off to the NBA and, and Adam yeah. Silver, but whoever that team was that came up with that and put that together. Yo, and for I branding, you. for sponsors, for experiences, fan, fan, you a fan, like fan experiences. Even me, like I didn't go, but just to watch it and be like, damn, this shit is, this looks fire. Like, yo, it's also crazy humble of you. You know what I'm saying? Since you thought up the whole thing and you pitched it to Adam Silver. Nah, you know what I'm dude. saying? And you made it happen. <laughs> and how you said it being like I was part I, of the conversation, I, and you just like diminish your role listen, in it. I pre that's nah, why that's a fact. I appreciate you. Humble star, humble star. I appreciate humble you, man. Star, yeah, 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 that, Come on. It's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> CEO was mine, the marketing plan was me. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you know what I'm saying? That's it. <laughs> Yo, I like had shit to do with that. <laughs> I wish I did. I wish I did. Yeah. I wish I did. But yo, you know what I mean? And like I said, it's a it's a it's an 82 game season. So like as a fan, you know what I mean? Like walk me through, cause as a player, you know what I mean? Like you said, there's back to backs, there's different cities, there's different games, there's different teams where it's like, yo, I don't even gotta give a hundred percent and I know we're gonna cook these dudes. Like, is that type like 
walk me through that as as a superstar, as the mm-hmm. white hat guy, not the dude that's hitting the corner three. It's just like I'm the dude. We need that him. Play we, for need, me. we need him. Need him. We, we need, need Steve him to be Novak. Consistent. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, you got to hit that three at a high clip. Give me with the discount double check. Got you. Do your job. Do your job. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. as the guy navigating that whole 82 games, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot, bro. It's a lot of travel. Yeah, yeah it's a lot. Should break you down. You got to really like break the season down into like sections or like quadrants and like first 20 games it's like you get your feet wet you're working on your system you're working on your play you're getting all the kinks out getting in shape but not not so much as physical shape like you're getting more mental shape right like you you know you you starting to go through battles you starting to this you starting to that and it's just like that's 20 right we want to be I don't know 12 and 8 like right, 15 right. and 5 Going into first 20 games, yeah. right? I'm cool with that. Then you have the next 20 that's like, oh, you should be in shape. You should be ready to lock. You know what I mean? You should be Clicking. locked in. You should be, that's going into holiday. That's going to top of the year. By this time, we got to be, we got to be, we got to be going. The, that cohesiveness got to be, we can't wait to March, February. Mm. <laughs> so the next 20 is that December January, you know, going into All-Star Weekend, right? By the time you get to All-Star Weekend, you should be locked. You should be ready for All-Star Weekend to be over because you know you got to turn it up a notch after All-Star Break. Home stretch. After All-Star Break is where, for me, like I saw, I will always evaluate it's teams that's going to drop and it's teams that's going, some teams going to stay where they at some teams gonna make a push. Some teams gonna try to keep that position at the top and fight for that. That's right. what they fighting for, right? Somebody gonna have a run at the after the All Star break. Always happens. That's gonna put you back into you know contention and playing, and that's the excitement of the season. So that quadrant, that's the third quadrant. It's like oh shit, like. <laughs> We we better be a fine tool, fine oil machine yeah. after All Star break because that's closing the season. Then you have postseason, and by that time, it's no. Every we, we can't wait for you at this point. Yeah, we're not waiting for you. So for me, it was like four quadrants in the season, right? And sometimes you, like for me, I used to try to play around with the quadrants. Like you know what, fuck a first twenty, I'm going like. I, I want to average 30, boom. Like, I want to do this. I want to come out the bat. I want to come out. Like, every year you had a different mentality. Like, yo, this year we're going to try to win. We're going to go 15 and 5, first 20 games. Like, that's our goal. Like, we don't want to be 500 in 20 games. Nah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you you play those games. You know what? Yo, Christmas, we're going to turn it up. We ain't going to wait the All-Star Week. We're going to turn it up. Right after this shit. Right after. It depends on the actual team that you. That's what what those games That you have. Because, like, when you have a team, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you've been on some 17-win teams, bro, where, like, the roster was not it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, fact. is the coach realistic, like, in the huddle, like, in the locker room and shit, where he's just like, hey, look, I'm a gambler, man. It's, it's, it's us versus the Warriors. It's a, the line is 22 and a half, y'all. <laughs> nah, like, nah, you know nah, I don't shit like, like that. Yeah. Nah. That ain't shit like that. Don't get out there and get nah, out the but gym. what they would, like, some oh, some some coaches would be like, uh, you know what? Yo, we got we got a shot to beat them tonight. Yeah. But, like, don't trip about it. Like, no, you know, just... <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, trip about or they it. might look at the schedule and be like, all right, these, are, these, these, these are our next 10 games. Uh, you know, we gonna go 73. Uh, we ain't gonna win those games. Like, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah. we want to go 8-2 and two or 73 in the next 10 games. And they just mark off the games that they automatically think that this is an L. This is an L. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. So that, you know, shit like that, shit like that do happen. But to turn it, you know, spin the block is like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta. The season's so fucking long. There's no way you could think the same way for eight months, seven, eight months of just the same thing and doing the same thing over and over and over. You start to battle with monotony. It's like, yeah. why, like, you get bored. You start doing different shit. 
Like, that's why, I don't know, <clears throat> you may see players for the whole season, they one way. Right. They get to the playoffs, like, what the fuck, why you start doing that? Why you shooting like Man, that? Man, this shit, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I'm, I'm tired of, I gotta do, I feel like I gotta do something, something different. different. No. Yeah. No, you didn't shoot that at the regular season. You were successful. Why you want to come show that you can? No, that's not what you do, right? So a lot of that comes into play in, in the season. So you got to be creative. Well, it's not so much on the court. man. It's teammates, you know what I mean? Vibe, energy. Yeah. Like it's, it's the discipline I was talking about on the first episode, not just from one player, but from the whole team. You got to be creative on how you do things, how you team bonding, you like all of that is major yeah. plays and parts of being successful. Th th and that's the mental part that you're talking about. I was gonna ask, cause you know, as a fan, I ain't never there, but like when you are on a team and that, 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 what are you talking about? Like that camaraderie, like the hanging out, like does that, could that be hurtful or is it always helpful? You know what I'm saying? No, it's never hurtful. Cause like, you know what I mean? Like I know me, I, I go out with five of my boys, you know what I'm saying? If motherfuckers start drinking too much of some shit, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers start say some shit sideways. Hey man, get the fuck out of here. How you get home, nigga? You taking an Uber cause you ain't jumping in my way. Fuck out of here, man. Nah, nah, fuck out of here. Nah, you know but what I mean? you accept like, it though, you, but, but because to that point, right? You know these are my guys. I my neck doing that shit. Yeah, your shit fucked up. <laughs> Where your blue, uh, with my blue, with my blue <laughs> got the dog, with my the doggy wrist. cushion on his neck. <laughs> Yo, I walked in here with a strenuous yeah, that man. injury. Come on, Melo man. started cooking me immediately. He got, he, got, he got hurt on his day off, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, but the chemistry that you have to have, like off the court, yeah. says a lot about what happens on the court, right? So we can be the best, like the best off the court. Like we can have the best time on the court, off the court. On the court, we just won't figure, we can't figure this shit out. Uh. We just can't figure this shit out. For an example, I was in the Lakers. We had the best chemistry off the, and I was a super, I was considered a super yeah. team. The best, the best times off the floor, right? We get on the court, sometimes we couldn't figure it out. Right. Right, and it's like, damn, why we can't, is it the situation, is it the system, is it like, what is it? And we always trying to search for what was the, what was the fix, right? Right, And it's like, we could never find out what was the fix, you know? And some people caught the bad rap for it, but it wasn't just that, it was, we couldn't find the fix. And where was you gonna go to pick on that fix or how to find that fix? You, you was only going a certain way. right? Right, so with with that right there is like, you have to really like find the fix on the court because what you do off the court, yes, it's supposed to enhance on the court, but a lot of times it don't. But the teams that do both, you can see it. Yeah, You see it, it comes off visibly. Like a fan can see, oh, them niggas is cool. They, they cool, fuck they with each other. fuck yeah. with each other. They, no matter what, there's no, we ain't saying nothing bad, but we holding each other down. Yeah. We win, lose, we could lose five, six straight. We still gonna have yeah, to sing. That's all me, you know what I'm saying? My teammates hold it down. No, you right? good, man. Yeah. You good, you yeah, good. Yeah. I'm like, I'll, I'll trip all that. Yeah. Right, like that's the, that's the energy right. that, that, that you actually need. That's crazy. Cause like, yo, to me, it's like, as a fan, I can see that shit going great or going the other way where it's just like, yo, bro, you is one for 30 tonight, my nigga for the fourth night in a row. Like, stop shooting. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what but I mean? Because, we've, because we it's established cool. that rapport off the, off the court. You not, I'm not taking it personal. You're not taking it personal because uh, we are very, now we establish you. a bond on the, off the court where, yo, Miro, like, yo, you fucking up. Like, why you shoot that? Why you, I can talk to you, feel comfortable and to nah, know, like, right, I, got right, your, right. I got your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, right, Most people it. don't translate that. Right. Right, it's either we cool on the court and we ain't cool off the court, or we cool off the court, and we ain't cool on the court. So the ones that you see, you see that mirror image on and off the court, those are the ones that's normally and usually successful. Because there's no egos, it's like, oh, that's my God shit. I know what, I know what Mero bring to the table. I know what Melo bring to the table, right? So we just gonna let them, allow them to do that. 
If they not doing that, then yeah, I got something to say. Yeah. If you ain't doing your job, I got something to say. Right, but you respect me enough because we built this camaraderie right, right. and this bond to know I'm going to be honest with you. And he, he just want to win. He just want to win. I, I'm going to let you know. He's not frying me just to fry me. That's a fact. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to let you know that blue shit you wore here was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bring, you bring this shit out. Let me show you how that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let I'm you know. I'm going to write this shit for the rest of the episode. Up, man. <laughs> shit is, what are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> you might need a bowl. Yo. Yeah, that was in a freezer? Like, come on, come on, yo, come on, yo, man. Come on. Ice, man. Yo, come on, man. Yo, come on, man. Yo, listen, man. When you 40 plus, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This should be saving you. You got uh. that's from Finger Hut. <laughs> Not finger hut! Yo, chill. Also, I got a finger hut. <laughs> Heat and cold pad. <laughs> Not trying to Yo, this is gonna make me break my neck. <laughs> Yo, my mom used to get through shit with this stick, bro. My mom still get her. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give context. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. please. I'm gonna get <laughs> Context, well, I got you, bro. Because you ain't give me the context before I saw you first. You supposed well, to check. You supposed to text. You neck. supposed to text and be like, "Yo, yo, I, yo, I, listen, I got the, the dog collar cushion joint. <laughs> you gonna see what you see? Yeah, don't laugh. Yo, so boom. What happened? So look, you a dad, bro. So you understand, like, you know what I mean? When your kid gets some shit when they're young, you want to help them put it together. You know I'm what I'm sorry, saying? I can't. <laughs> This shit look like fucking. <laughs> I'm gonna deliver the whole no, speech. I'm trying to be serious, guys. I'm trying to be serious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm like Kobe, man. <laughs> I'm playing through the pain. You know what I'm saying? I had to show up and drop 40 tonight. So, my son got a pull up bar. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's a gift. There's one in the gym downstairs, but he wanted one in his room. You know what I'm saying? Because he think he on Rikers and shit. He'd be locking in his room and shit. He want to do all his little calisthenics. I was like, all right, cool. Wife got tendonitis and bursitis in her shoulder. I was like, yo, you a quarterback? That, that's a crazy injury. Like, you a pitcher? But she can't tighten the, the, mm. the, you know, the rod or whatever. Hey, yo. So I get up there. I do my thing. Boom, boom, boom. I'm holding it. At first, I'm just holding it. Like, all right, cool. It's sturdy. Tighten a little more. All right. Let me hang a little bit. All right. Sturdy. I love, you know when you tighten it and it's like the last, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that joint. All right. Boom. All right. Now we good. I do a pull up. I hold it. I'm like, all right, cool. This should have worked for you. You good? So then I, for some reason, B, I don't know why the fuck I did this shit. I tried to do the fucking- The like bartenders. I was, the, like, <laughs> the, with the legs out, The bartenders. Yeah, bro. Like I'm fucking Jim Jones or some shit, man. I was like, nah. Yo, as soon as I put my legs up, that shit just fell down. Bruh, I don't even remember falling, my G. I just, I just went, mm. and neck hit, then the head hit. And I did the shit. Remember what happened to Tua in, in, in yeah, the Dolphins yeah. when he got sacked and he yeah. his arms went like that? Your shit was like that? My shit went like this. I was like, ah! I was like, what the fuck? My son was like, yo, you okay? I was like, no, nigga, call oh. your moms. Yo, so then the, it, they put me in the ambulance the whole night. So they bring me out there. Uh. They get me in there. I'm thinking I'm good now because I'm in the ER. They're going to give me some shit that's going to have me like, yo. Barmelo. Yeah, yeah. barmelloed out. Like, yo. So they don't. Cause they give me like some big ass Tylenol horse pills, so now I gotta walk around with the fucking heavyweight dookie belt on my neck. Word. Yeah, B. Come I, on, I man. I take all the laughs back. <laughs> <laughs> you was an ER and all that? That's crazy. Yeah, nah, it's crazy, bro. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm used to this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy though. That, <laughs> now, first half, like I, I, you know, I commend you because we in the like, locker room right now. You gotta give me that speech, like you know what I'm saying? First half, you did great. Like you was, you know, I mean, you was active, you was moving, you was live, energy. Appreciate you, appreciate you. That 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 shit wore off now. That, that, what you need? <laughs> what, what, what you need? What, what you need in the second half, champ? What I need is it don't look like you gonna make it in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> you might not make it in the second half. <laughs> yo. yo, coach, come on, man. Come on, kid. yo. This, this I'm gonna ask you first, though. What you, yo? What could you do? <laughs> could you do, yo? What yo, you listen. Do? Uh, could you shoot? I, I, I could definitely shoot. Could you rebound? You know what I'm saying? I don't know about rebounding. What lane you need? The right or the left? I need the right lane. You know what I'm saying? So I can come in and hit him with the. Uh, nah, you know nah. what I mean? So if you get screened, you now nah, you out. Coach, get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> they got Mike Martinez working yeah, on my ass. Coach, get out of here. Coach, get him out. Coach, he hurt. <laughs> All right, boom. Last joint, three to the dome. Zion down New Orleans with the Pelicans, which we 
Thankfully, never saw you in a Pelicans jersey. You know what I'm saying? Melody Pelican is that crazy went crazy. Situation. That, that went so crazy. <laughs> People ain't even listen to the actual context of the story. <laughs> but go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's crazy because they cut it. And it was like, it. No, that, I told them because I was like, it's Houston. Post-production is crazy. <laughs> I love New Orleans. Take it man. up with Pierce and EJ, y'all. That's actually, actually one of my favorite cities, New Orleans. New Orleans? For oh, sure. yeah. I love For it. Sure. So they say saying that the Pelicans, they're not really happy with Zion's, like, you know what I mean? Like his conditioning. And they quoted the quote from coming from the team is, he don't listen. <laughs> Which is crazy. Oh, like, no. That's the actual quote. <laughs> he don't listen. He, he doesn't. Or well, he does not listen. Coming from who? who? From the team. Like, See? from uh, sources from the team were quoted as saying, he doesn't listen. Okay. Like, Who's sources? Because sources could be players. That's sources, right. You know it could be, I mean? be anybody. It so. could be the motherfucker parking your car. You but know what I'm saying? Go ahead. My question to you is, do you feel like Zion, because you know the hype he came in with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like, he is maybe missing an opportunity to lock in, like how we talk about Bron, like that level of discipline, to lock in and become like that generational type of player. I think from the beginning, we it was so much put on Yo. Zion. Right? Like like crazy. Thrown at him. Like you have to be Guilty. you're the next. <clears throat> You know what I mean? Like you are the logo. Like yeah. you're the next yep. guy, right? We have the next Bron. We haven't seen nothing like this since '03, <sighs> right? So because of that, we, we last episode we were talking about giving the white hat at 18 years old. This kid is 18. This kid still want to eat McDonald's. This yes. kid still want to eat Chick Fil A. Still want to drink iced tea. This man is from South cool. Carolina. He from South Carolina where they this is what they do. They they eat. They it's family. It's 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 the country. If they outside, Sunday they dinner. barbecue on yeah. they this is what we do. Right? And okay, I'm cool with that. I'm now I'm a great now I'm, they consider me to be now, okay, cool. Right? You go to Duke. It's the same thing. But now you're in college, so you don't really get the the shit that you're about to get. From the outside, oh. from the you know, from scrutiny, from now you got to prove yourself on this level. You prove yourself in college. Now you got to prove yourself on this level. It goes back to what I was saying in episode one. No matter what you did in college, you still got to prove yourself. Don't matter. Yep. Right. So now you coming in with all of this. You bigger than the organization. You, you don't play. You show them like, oh, this is this is what I can do. Uh, it's out. Now, in your mind, you never had to deal with, deal with nothing like this before. You're 19. I never dealt with no shit like this before. Like, I went from high school to college to dope. the NBA in yeah. a year and a half, almost in, in less than 24 months. So I don't know how to deal with, with this type of shit. Now you're putting me <clears throat> into a, a city, an organization, and you're saying, here, by default, you are the face of this city. As soon as you step this in. This state. You are, you are. You ain't even put the warm-ups on yet. You ain't even get off the plane yet. You don't know how to fathom that. So you relying on who? Your parents. You know, your agents. You, you don't know who's friends. You don't know who's. You don't know who to trust. You still 19. You don't know who to trust. You don't know how to operate. Yeah. You don't. So what, what you going to do? At, you know what? I'm going in the house. I'm going to go play video games. I'm going to go chill. I'm going to do the same shit I do in the dorm. So you still carry that into the NBA. But we want you to be, you, the fan, want him to be in the gym. Zion Williamson, the greatest thing since Will Chamberlain and Braun. And like, God, can it but that's not who he want to be yet. Right? So now he's dealing with the emotional aspect of, the mental aspect of, I don't really want to be that. I just want to play ball. I just want to be 19. I just want to. Yeah. But it's so much pressure. I can't do this. I can't talk to this. I can't. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't answer my own questions. So you start battling with that. And then injuries come. So now it's, oh, he's too heavy. He's this. He's that. But with all actuality, the kid is fucking 19, 20 years old. I need to sh just shed baby fat, baby weight. That's it. So he did it. And what was the narrative? Oh, he looks good. Oh, he, he is strong. He's, he's strong. back. He's before. He's that was a narrative. And now, 
It's like it's not that. It's like that wasn't even a narrative before. It's like <laughs> yeah. nah, this, I do agree with because I'm a stand on what I said about Bron and the discipline. He needs to be disciplined. Yeah. Like you got to be disciplined <clears throat> when you're that. Yeah. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? So we talk about wearing the white hat and being disciplined and having longevity. You're not going to have that longevity that we all talking about if you're not disciplined. Right. Right. So the discipline is, you know what? Fuck what anybody's saying. I'm out. Like, I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm going to get in the gym. I, I think he works. I know he works. Let me just say it. I know he works. Yeah. It's just that shit is hard to cut. Like, this Yo. shit that he got, it's hard to fucking cut. So even if he lose 20 pounds, 30, it don't look like nothing. Nah, I don't. That's, that's the crazy shit, bro. So he, he just yeah, built like I, that. I guess he's built like that, but I, it, you have to have the discipline comes in. I know I'm one honey bun away. I know I'm one burger. Instead of eating <laughs> three burgers, I'm going to eat two today. Instead, of, You know what I'm saying? Like, you just start slowly yeah. breaking your shit down. And I ain't going to have four... Orange crushes. I'm gonna have two orange crushes a day. You know what I'm saying? I like to eat Sam. I'm gonna have one and a half slices instead of three. It's like you gotta start being tricking yourself and playing the game with yourself right. because it's too much that's surrounding you. It's too many engines that surround you that wanna see you succeed, and you ain't giving that. Mm. So you gotta really be Discipline. You gonna hear discipline a lot because it's a sports show. Yeah, no, but that's true. You, him in, in particular, you gotta be disciplined, man. You gotta want this shit. Like you, you really gotta want this shit. So when we were talking about last episode, the greatness gene, you gotta, you gotta have, you gotta want that greatness. You gotta have that greatness gene, and that's all day, every day, discipline. Wake up, go to sleep. These motherfuckers, man. That's it. I gotta be the the best Zion. Yeah, I seen. gotta be the best person, the best me. I gotta feel good. If I feel the best at this weight, then I feel fuck what everybody else is saying. I I'm cool. Good. I feel yeah. good. But you can't say you feel good at that weight and then perform that way and then expect people not to criticize you right. and do all of that. So my message to Zion is discipline. Do what you gotta do. Embrace the Stop running from it. Embrace the white hat. I am who I am. This is what I got to do to take that next step. But as a fan, you he ain't got that window. Right. You don't let him have that window as a fan. Nah. Right. Immediately. You, I'm hold his eye. Hold his eye. He's 23. 23 years old. He played how many seasons? Was it three? How many seasons he played? How many oh, seasons he played? played? Oh, man. <laughs> Out of four like, seasons, one he and played a half? what? Yeah, and nah. every time you see him play, you say what? This motherfucker is a... Animal, this is a beast. Beast. Right. This is this is what the fuck. <laughs> but stay, you I'm gotta saying. stay on the court. So you have to discipline yourself. You gotta start putting the resources into your body. Like you are Zion Williamson. Like you are right. supposed to be that guy. You supposed to be the face of the NBA. So as a like from from the like as a fan perspective, as as a as a casual hooper, when you that guy. And you're, like you said, 19 years old, all these magazines, out media outlets, yo, you're the next guy, you're the next guy, you're the next guy. You sign for a crazy amount of bread, you get an endorsement deal off rip, crazy amount of bread, and you're 19. There's so much shit out there, you know what I mean, that comes with the with the lifestyle of being, you know, the, the man with the white hat. Like, the, the, the food, the everything, you know what I'm saying? There's so much, like, temptation and shit. But what got you here in the first place is your ability to hoop. How do you stay focused on that? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't think that, I don't believe that he's not focused on that. Like, I, I believe that he is, like, that he's very focused yeah. on that. I just think, and I hopefully I'm wrong, but I think that the fact that all you keep hearing about yourself is you're good, you're very good, but you're fat, you're this, you're that, you're, over, you're out of shape, you're overweight, you're... When you start playing like that's weight. When you start playing with that shit in your head, yeah. it fucks you up. Damn, am I fat? Damn. Everything I do, you start being self-conscious. It's boom, you, right? The only way to combat that is what? Go do what you gotta do yeah. to not be considered fat or out of shape. You, as a human eye, you know if I'm fat or not. Yeah. 
I can't see it though. So therefore, I'm gonna be naive to the fact that oh, I might get mad at you keep calling me out of shape or fat. Oh, so I don't see what you absolutely. mean. I work out every day. Yeah, no, hundred percent. But no, nah, no, you fat. Like you, you gotta get in the gym, y'all. What you but mean? But with him, he I'm putting 450 on the bench. What you talking about? With him, <laughs> he really it comes down to discipline. What you eat, how you eat, you when know, you eat. when you eat. Like his discipline got to be even more than somebody like. A Second Le- round pick. Too. A LeBron. I only compare. He, this man is a superstar. So I'm not comparing you with somebody that's a second round. I'm comparing you to who you're supposed to be compared with, ah. which is everybody wants you to be great. Everybody wants you to be this Zion and great. But are you willing to do what the greats did to sustain that? Right? I would get low. I'm getting low. I'm getting low. I'm, I'm off the grid. Boom, I'm coming back next season. It's in the gym. The the best shit that you're gonna see the best fucking mellow that you've ever, ever seen. TMZ go catch you at the store like Mello in great shape for yeah, the season. What is he doing? Is he, <laughs> is he sick? Is he, is he sick? Like, is it Manjaro? <laughs> <laughs> is he on that Ozempic? Mero, what are you doing, Mero? <laughs> <laughs> but nah, that's 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 real, man. And Zion really gotta be. Discipline, bro. Like he gotta just be like, yo, fuck everything else. I don't, I'm going this, I'm gonna lock into this. And he was on that path. I know it. I spoke to him. I seen him, you know, similar people that I was working with, you know what I mean? Like it was, you know, suggestions and yeah. opportunities and chefs, and it was a, you know, it was a whole world that was that was formulated around mm-hmm. him. Right. So I'm not, I'm not saying like, but I know the people that help formulate that circle around you. So utilize those people because those same people help me right. come back and be able to play 19 years and eat right and sleep right and think right and, you know, like. That's just it. Use it. Be disciplined, man. Yeah, man. Wow. Damn, dog. So with it, the crazy shit to me too with him is just like, fam, you like, like you said, like when you that age, it's hard, man. It's hard, <laughs> dog. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, yo, you am- it gotta be harder. I, I can't even imagine because, like, I never been in that position. You know what I'm saying? I got, I started making money at like 28, 29. You know what I'm saying? Like money, money. Like yeah. yo, go buy a house, money. So it's just like I can't even imagine having, you know, millions. Like Shohei money. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, it's, it's it's this shit is hard, man. And balancing it's that shit, hard. Bro. It's hard. It's the balance part of it. Because now you got to deal with you 19, 20, 21. You still listening to your parents, but also you are in, you're a professional in this realm, but you still got it. You still listening to your parents. So it becomes a point in time where you and your parents got to have a sit down. It's the inevitable. Listen, I'm going to do my own thing. Yeah. You go, you be my parent, or you like it's it's the inevitable conversation that you my always, parent or my management. You gotta pick one. I need you to be my parent. Yeah, I don't. You know, if you want to be the like manager, because I'm gonna grow, I'm gonna learn different things, I'm gonna be around different people, right? I'm gonna learn the business on my own. So now, nah, dad, no disrespect on mine. I don't, I don't need you from that standpoint. Right. I'm gonna trust these people to do this X Y Z, but I need you to be. This. That moral support. Like a parent. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold parent, me down. Right? So for me, I wouldn't want to be a manager to my kids. Or, nah. Nah, bro. Just come holler at me when I'm you I'm just going to put the play in front of you here. Here's who you could talk to. Here's only who you could talk to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's only who you can sign with. You know what I'm saying? But we going to make it We gonna make it work to what's, what's best to your ability. Right? And I think with Zion, like, going back to that, he just needs... Uh, it's on him. It ain't Use on nobody else, bro. It ain't on nobody else. Use the resources, man. Use the resources. You got them. You know what I'm saying? Ain't it? You got them. <laughs> All right, look. So this part of episode one was instantaneously hit, banger, <laughs> off rip. You know what I'm saying? So we got to run it back. You know what I mean? Uh, our producers, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the gang, Wave Gang. Uh, the wave game. The wave game. You know what I'm saying? Al. <laughs> wave game. Wave game. It's a wave game. <laughs> so it's the craziest joints, the craziest trends, whatever is going on right now, just to find out if we fucking with it or if it's a fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this first one's kind of crazy because, like, yo, I never, of all the people that I would think in my head to to put the the freaky label on, 
It is not our beloved Stephen A. Smith, man. But here we are. <sighs> and I think you're going to see him show that. Let's move on to the next question. Um, at Liz's <laughs> L-I-Z-Z-S <laughs> underscore locker room. Stephen A., why are you so freaky? Laugh out loud. Uh, how do you know I'm freaky? How do you know I'm freaky? He's a, how do you know I'm freaky? For you know I can be the most right there. dude on the planet. You have no idea whether I'm freaky or not because I don't tell. But the guy know you're freaking because he's doing a quiet soul voice to answer the question. You show the R&B out the dark. You know what I'm saying? Like, Somebody like myself is capable of. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and use your imagination. Enjoy. Hey, yo, what? <laughs> Come on, champ. He said, nah, that was that was felony horny right there. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> My son said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still talking about being horny. What's up with my man? What's going on? Big C. It's called at it underscore B-I-G-C. He writes, Stephen A. Worst day of the week to be horny. (laughs) Yo, why why you said that shit like it was a sports headline? Worst day of the week week to be be horny horny. to me is Sunday night. Okay, so first take. Because chances are most people got to work Monday morning. And the week hasn't started yet. Oh, Stephen A., you bugging, man. (laughs) And a lot of times you want to get... You want to relax, wind down, and enjoy the end of the weekend before you get into the muck and mire, the, the, the hustle of the week. I mean, I'm assuming you're going to do what you're going to do several times a week, but the worst day to be horny is Sunday. <laughs> I never want to eat Sunday. Is Friday, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the best day, Steve. It's, it's, it's Sunday. Sunday. You know, Football Sunday. Out. Nigga, we chilling. It's raining. What the fuck? We got hot chocolate and hot tea. It's been a wonderful What you evening, mean? We got tacos and all type of shit. Stephen A, what you want? We relaxing. Yo, close. Stephen A is bugging. <laughs> As in C-L-O-S-E. Not C-L-O-T-S. Why he giving you the long clothes? Yo, I'm telling you. He is R and B after dark oh, to the on the on the on the serious. Amen. Amen. Did he do the Jesus in there? Yo, come no. on, Stephen. Yo, come uh, on, man. Uh, what's the? Uh, All right, fellas. So here's the question, dog. Uh, <laughs> yo, Steve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I got to ask you, man. Nah, go ahead. Do your thing. Stephen A becoming the internet's new favorite love doctor. We fucking with it? Or is it a fuck out of here? Stephen A. <laughs> <laughs> my son. My son was R&B after dark. <laughs> smooth voice, smooth tunes. Yeah. 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 Stephen A. Smith yeah, Sunday is shit. not the best day. Yo, Stephen A, man. Shout out to my brother, Stephen A. Yo, worry. But Shut I ain't fucking with that, man. Yo, fuck out of here, Steve. Fuck out of here, man. You Yo, too, you too horny, my dude. Too horny. That's two horny questions to ask you. Back to back. Like, come Big on. Big C asked you, <laughs> what's the favorite day to be horny? <laughs> That's nah. crazy. Yo, it Stephen just happened a, with yo, yo, Stephen A, shout out my guy. You know you family. You yes, know sir. That. But that's crazy. Nah, yo, wally, so wally, wally. I'm wally. fuck out of here, Stephen A. <laughs> fuck out of here. The social media team is doing you dirty. That is crazy. <laughs> you, you might as well put some music. Put a, a, back, fire, put a soundtrack fire. behind Throw your the shit. Burn in there, burn in there. Damn. A little saxophone Slow in the back. RPMs. We got the call that came back. It's like, all right, what we doing? Yo, my fault. My fault, Mello. Yeah. I'll I, 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 next time. I, you know, for that, I respect, I respect, you know, Stephen A, my brother, man. And I seen where he where he came from. But I ain't yeah. with the freaky shit. <laughs> nah, 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 we gotta put the freaky shit away, I ain't with bro. That freaky ass. Right, listen, Sunday I'm, I'm gonna shit. Dive, yo, so much time on that plane if I know what type of time man, we was on, bro. Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, Sunday is yeah. the worst day. And the rest said, of the week, you can do what you want to do to each his own. He said, Man, come I on, appreciate Steve, you man. calling me freaky, even though you don't know what I'm capable of. He said, yeah, Big C. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to Stephen yeah, A, but fuck worry. out of here, Stephen A. Yeah, I love you, my nigga, but fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> All right, next up, man. Uh, Buster Rhymes recently uh, provided the world a list of... Uh, his top five rappers um, of all time. And, and two specific names wasn't on there. Are you fucking with it or fuck out of here? Busta leaving Drake Kendrick off of his top five. Damn. As a as a hip hop head culture yeah. fan. Are you I, fucking with that or not? You know, you know me, man. Born and raised in the Bronx, eat, sleep, breathe, shit, hip hop. 
I think, I think, I think the list is cool. You know what I'm saying? Like Rock him, I, I feel, I feel like a lot of people don't give Rock him these flowers. That's a no brainer. You know what I'm saying? I win. You know, I mean, I got the seven yeah, of off for the guard, man. You, you know what I mean? That's Rock him, the God MC to me. You know, one of the OGs. Hove Nas, obviously, he got that. Uh, who else did he say? He said Hove Nas and Big, Big, and he, and Eminem. I think mm. I might take Eminem out there, out of that. Be careful, be careful, be, right, well, be careful. Right, right, right. So I have this I'm argument just saying, all the time. Be careful, just be careful. I have, I have this argument all the time because yeah. I'm just like, be careful. I might take him out of there just because he could. <laughs> he be rapping his asshole. Don't get me wrong. My thing with 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 M is just like I can never relate. You know what I'm saying to to the to the subject matter. To you know the struggle. I mean? To well, not even the struggle. It's just like it, his struggle was not my struggle. Mom spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. He, he, yeah, uh, like yeah, you, just, what you mean? You know what I mean? Mom spaghetti. But I, that wasn't me. To me, juicy was it. Juicy was the struggle okay, for me. Okay, that's a fact. You know what I mean? Like that's my era of like, yo, we coming up through the struggle. Ah, uh, uh, now we drink champagne when we thirsty. That's it's a like fact. you know what I mean. But Biggie took it from like, yo, we struggling. So we up now. I went from ashy to classy. You know what yeah, I'm saying? From, I went from nasty, from ashy to nasty <laughs> to classy, nasty to ashy <laughs> to classy, <laughs> nasty nigga. So that's the shit. Like I would have put how he was suggesting Cole. I feel like Cole, I, and I turned around on Cole a lot too because when he first came out, I was like, oh man, this nigga shit is boring. You know what I'm saying? Like where's the, where's the action at? And then I was just like, hold on, he's a spitter. You know what I mean? Cool. So I came around on him. Yeah, you're cool. Hey, yo, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say, I'm just gonna hold my hand up. Whenever you start doing shit slow like down, that, that's, that's two and two shows, though. You understand? That's two. So I'm just gonna hold, I'm gonna start holding my hand up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not gonna say nothing, I'm just holding my hand up. <laughs> so are you, are you fucking with it yeah. or fuck out of here? It's fuck out of here just because I think. That Eminem spot, somebody else deserves it more. You know what I'm saying? And if he wanted to put in a new guy, you know what I'm saying, into that top five, I think Cole should slide into that spot. Slide Eminem out. So you fuck yeah. out of here with the bus. Yeah, yeah, fuck out of so here. So what you is your list? My list is- If you don't mind me asking. Like, I, I know. Yeah, nah. But that's, that's I, I, don't, I don't want nobody to ask me that. Well, so my, and this is my shit. Like, I listen to I music that. every day. So, like, it changes every day. Like, I might be on some, nah, nah, some punch nah, shit nah, nah, today nah, and then nah, tomorrow. That, that can't change every day. It, it don't change every day. It changes occasionally. Cause you know how it is, nah, bro. No, you won't hear some shit for a long time, no, man. You hear your it again. Five is your your five. Does he? Th it's this this is five? my thing. This is my thing with fives. And it'll I, never change. You got five that'll never change. Yeah, but also it's like man, nah. we be so afraid to say our five because of what everybody else gonna say. Yeah, yeah. But nah, fuck it. This is my I, five. This is my five. This, yeah. Who's Miro's five? Top my five, five hip hop artists. Number one, big. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Cl of course, classic. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, number two, Prodigy from Mob Deep. Love that. You know what I'm saying Houdini P, Unstoppable. Number three, Pun. You know what I'm saying? Lyrical. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. had me like every never a whack verse. Mm -hmm. Never. One of the few rappers I could be like, ah, he never had a verse. So I was just like, ah, that shit was alright. Yeah. Every verse was like, yo, that's crazy. Rock him, mm -hmm. OG the God MC. And number five, Nas. Cause Nas, to me, started that wave of like, yo, I'm a rap, but you're gonna see everything that I'm rapping about. I'm in the Lex watching Kathy Lee and Regis. My mm -hmm. actions are one with the seasons. I'm like, yeah, nigga, we in the back of the GS300 mm -hmm. Lex. They got the little TV in the back. That's we watching Kathy Lee and Regis. Can't wait to get a TV. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like he he painted a picture. So those are that's my top five. That's a great five. You know what I'm saying? And I and I and they, gonna, like, they, gonna, they gonna kill your five though. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> that's, that's what they do every day. They gonna kill your five. They don't matter I already know. What's the top five sandwiches? They gonna, 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 gonna cook you that, over that. Man. Fuck that, man. <laughs> Core Street got the best, man. <laughs> Ain't nobody yeah. even on Core Street. Like, fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Look, so I don't know if you've seen this, but Miles Turner, his Lego collection is like. <sighs> He's in the thousands now. Like, like that's his shit. Thousands of like independent pieces or like, like thousands sets. of Lego sets. Like sets. Like my man got thousands of sets. Like make you know what I'm saying? Like that might be more than Lego. Yeah. Like he he started over over 120,000 pieces of Lego since the season started. 12 projects. <laughs> 12 Lego projects. That's man. insane. That's ins it's insane, bro. That's like I, I bought one of these shits for my kid. I'm like, damn, nigga, you made a Ferrari out of Legos? I'm a 500 piece Lego set guy. Yeah, that's it. Max. That's the Titanic.
Petty Hood. Oh, shit. They got the Titanic oh, yeah. over there. Oh, yeah. Hey, he's not 5'5", five, five, bro. Sweet. Like, this he like 6'10", and he, right. that shit look big as fuck. Hey, yo. I build Legos. I don't play with Legos. That's a fact. <laughs> yo, yo. That's a great statement right yo. there. I build Legos. Nah, I build Legos. Yeah, he don't play. It's own, not a game with me. Hit you in the head with a Lego, man. He on his freaky shit too. Oh. Yo, what? <laughs> yo, what's the same? Why you just Stephen A. Boy for the ladies? Hey, Stephen A. Where you at, <laughs> Chad? <laughs> Two freaky Lego players. He <laughs> <laughs> got the Playboy <laughs> Mansion and Legos. <laughs> Why his? We got the Lego voice though. Teresa. This is Teresa what? Right here. That shit is 4,800 pieces. God damn. That's the... Hey, yo! That's what I'm saying. Come on, man. That's what I'm saying. Special lady. Leah. I'm going to say that one more time. That's first date. Yo, what That's you want? 10 bands. Where you want to go? Right, we're going to Lego. We're going to Lego world. <laughs> Shorty. We're going to build your castle out of a Lego. <laughs> yo! Oh, man. Uh. All right. Shout, so, out, shout out to, shout out to my, Miles. To That's Miles. Miles, right? Yeah, shout out to Miles turn to do this thing. All right, spending racks on Lego sets. Fucking with it or fuck out of here? I'm fucking with it. You fucking with it? I'm yeah. fucking with it. Like, yeah, 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 I'm fucking with I'm it only, too. Only because of the quote. I build, build Legos. Legos. I don't play, play with, with Legos. Legos. Like, that's hard. Like, that's <laughs> yeah, like, that's a bar. Fuck is what y'all talking about. <laughs> that's like, a bar. Legos is, like, it's hard to build some Hell Legos. Hell yeah. Shit. Hell yeah. That's, that's just discipline. Not it, there you go. It's like, and that's why, like, my that's son crazy. does this shit all the time. And I'm like, and that's why I'm like, I fuck with it. Because, like, you get one of them pieces, yo, and motherfuckers will build a car. One like with piece, the pistons. One piece, your shit is over. Cook. Yeah. Yo. You gotta break the whole shit down. Yeah. So, you know, he 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 building Legos with 4,800 pieces 10, and five, 10,000 pieces. 10, pieces like that's super disciplined. Right I'll take my hat off to that to 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 Miles, man, because that's Sheep. that's a different uh discipline and a mindset. For real. And it's a discipline because he don't play with them. It's a he fact. Build. He build Legos. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You want dinner, Miles? No. <laughs> Play on Legos, mom. He <laughs> <laughs> said the Lego Fortnite is out. I'm playing fuck, that shit mom, all night. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> it's Lego hour. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no, nah, that's fire, though. So I'm, I'm fucking with it. I ain't, yeah. that's, that's not fuck out of it. Because that's a hobby. That's a passion. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, as, a, as an athlete, you need something to, like, Take your mind off the court and basketball, and yeah, you dope. know to break up that monotony. So, and shit is like for society. me, it was wine, cigars. You know, you you on my type of time. <laughs> See, I fuck with the Legos basketball. But I'd rather be over here drinking you know, wine than just Legos smoking cigars. Is like, I, I fuck with Legos right now, though. You know, I'll, I'll do like, you know, I'll, I'll just be in my mode one time and just like, I'm, let me just go buy a fucking like puzzle or Lego set. It just switch. It, it's it switches your mindset. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. It changes your energy. Fam. It calms you down. I say it all the time, yo. Legos. You gotta stay mellow, Lego. You gotta do it. I'm gonna get Miles Turner to build it. Build it. A whole mellow, a life size mellow. Yo, Miles, man, I'll commission you, Miles, yo, to build a ten thousand Lego set. Stay mellow that we could put right somewhere there, up on the wall. Shout out to Miles. You know, I'm fucking with the Legos. Shout out to Freaky Yo, Steven. <laughs> Freaky Yo! Yeah, I'm fucking with the Legos. I don't know about freaky, the freaky, yeah. freaky voiceover. Freaky Yo of uh, Stephen A. Smith. Freaky Yo. That's that's his new name, Freaky Yo. Freaky Yo. <laughs> Yo it's but, my man Freaky Yo from Queens, you know man. Shout, shout out to Buster for his top five. And Word. I respect Buster by saying, like, you know, I love J. Cole. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to, like, see J. Cole come across yeah. that, you know, that threshold. So. Yeah. I respect that from from artists and you know athletes and just people who are That's know the fun. game and understand the game and understand yeah. progression and understand growth and understand yep. artist development and player development. And That's Buster. Yo. That's Buster. You like Buster saying? been he doing been... this since the '80s. Like he's he's a you know he's a pioneer still doing yeah, it. One of the best performers it. of all time. And right? he's one of entertainers the entertainers that could say, "Nah, this shit ain't." Yeah. It. So when he speak, you listen to the understanding. You know what I mean? Yep. It's like, nah, Jay. All right, for him to say, yo, J. Cole is the next one He's or next. coming or I don't I don't know how to put him in Kendrick, that means like you really in tune. You yeah. know you've been in this game a lot and you know the process of what it takes 
for artist development. So he could have just went up there and been like, Buster, 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 yeah, Buster, Buster. Yeah, that's a fact. But it'd be hard for artists like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because even athlete being in that position where you done done it for so long and yeah. they want to give it to somebody after two years and three years, it's like, come on, bro. We've I'm been still doing here. it. It's a lot that goes into this and you ain't even experienced any of this shit yet. So how can I give you the face of the league? How can I give you you come the on. You got to do this for eight, this. nine, ten years. Yes. I mean, you got to do this for a long time. Go play them at least twice, B. You know what I'm saying? So some records. All right, Mero, that's a wrap, man. Episode two is in the books. We did it again. We keep going. We back next Thursday with a new episode of 7 p.m. in Brooklyn. A Wave Sports and Entertainment Originals presented by Prize Picks. Go bang with them. You heard? Peace. And we out. Peace.